Hi, and welcome to Rainbow Unicorn Cat One channel. If you wanted to see the latest Illy Forever outfits unboxed, then this video is for you. They're currently available at some targets and they are available on the Target website and on the Target app. So if you like what you see and decide to purchase them, you can find them there. If you've never purchased Illy Forever outfits before, they fit 18 inch dolls like American Girl dolls, but the quality is kind of disappointing. But the quality price ratio is just right and I just love the designs of these outfits. Their designers always do a fabulous job. So we're going to start with this mini inspired outfit, which is a bathing suit, right? It's, it's like a beach set. It's a bathing suit, a skirt, uh, a bag, sunglasses and shoes. And let me just warn you, if you ever decide to purchase any of these outfits, make sure you wash them before you put them on your doll. Maybe use a color catcher in the wash cycle. A lot of them are pretty delicate, so I would suggest just soaking them in warm water with a color catcher sheet. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and interested in all 18 inch doll related content, but not yet subscribed to us, you should definitely do so. And if you turn on the notification bell, YouTube will always let you know when we upload a new video. We post all the latest 18 inch doll news, crafts and unboxing. We post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but sometimes we post on other days as well. As I already mentioned, the quality of these outfits is not the best. They're kind of comparable to AliExpress quality. But I like how they look and the shoes are always plastic. So that's another minus. And one more thing that I don't like is the way they're packaged. And uh, what you see right now, I'm just cutting through the scotch tape on the plastic, which is fine. But then the clothing pieces, they're attached to the packaging with those little plastic threads. I don't know what they're called. They kind of like attached the holes in the fabric because of them, right? You see, you see those little things? I don't know if you could see them. You see them? And they're really hard to cut off from the other side. Like you'd have to go to the side where the clothes are and it's really hard to cut them off and not damage the fabric. I don't have my detailing scissors with me, so I'm using what I have, but I strongly, strongly recommend you use detailing scissors instead of regular scissors. It's just safer. <laughs> and let me sh just show you the little hole left from where the plastic thread went through. Right there, do you see it? In this particular case, the threads in the fabric were not broken or cut through, so this hole might disappear with time. But sometimes, uh, with some earlier sets, there were holes that actually broke threads in the fabric. So this is the bathing suit, and it has this mini motif on it, and mini signature polka dot pattern. It's made in mini signature colors, red, white, and black. There's Velcro on the back, which I absolutely hate. I just hate it, and the fabric, well, uh, everything's stretchy. It works as bathing suit. It's not a real bathing suit fabric like what is used for human ba bathing suits. And overall, the fabric is just feels very cheap. Let me cut off the tag. So again, I didn't have high expectations for the quality. I am going to get rid of that Velcro and use snaps like I do with some of the doll clothes that I buy. But I do like the design. Just look at those cute details on the front. They did not have to do it. They could have gone with a simpler design. So this set also comes with a skirt. The skirt is made out of mesh fabric. It's more of a decorative item rather than a functional item because it is kind of see-through. You absolutely have to wear something under it. It has a bow pattern, a polka dot bow pattern, just like Minnie's bows. And it has this kind of area right here. You see how it's kind of stretchy? There is a stretchy band on the inside. And the waist is stretchy too, but it also has Velcro in the back. Now let's take a closer look at the bows. Um, this is how the Velcro opens right here. But actually I found out that I didn't have to use Velcro when I was putting the skirt on my dolls because the waist part is stretchy enough. So it was not a problem. Here are the shoes and they're surprisingly heavy. I was actually shocked. Um, they're kind of bulky, but they're cute. Very Minnie Mouse inspired. You wouldn't think they're inspired by any other character, right? Very, very recognizable. 
So let me just arrange these items a little bit and we'll take a closer look at the sunglasses. They are red with a bow on one, of, on one side and they're just plastic, you know, pretty sturdy. Nothing too special, but they are cute. And the bag is 100% plastic. Again, very flexible plastic. I like the design. Go with the float. And there's actually a picture of Minnie on it. Very cute. Uh, the texture of the bag is made to make it look like burlap. It is flexible. It is functional. I do like the design. It's a cute beach bag. I don't think an actual 18-inch doll towel would fit in there, but maybe it would. But for props, it's great. So now let me show you a few pictures I took. Some are with an Illy Forever doll and some are with my American Girl Ariel doll. I think the set is really cute and there is mix and matching potential with other sets. This is what she looks like without the skirt. And I think this is a really cool look too. It's great for hanging out by the pool or on the beach. And the color combination works so well. Red, black, and white. It's pretty basic, pretty classy. And I just think this outfit is well worth $15 for me. I feel like the design team, as always, did an amazing job. The skirt, I wonder if I can use it with some other outfits. I'll think about it. Like the flip-flops are my least favorite part. Okay, so here's my aerial. And if you look closer, on her right leg, her right thigh, you will see a black stain. And that's from another Minnie Mouse inspired outfit that I left her in for three days. Yes, I was aware that Illy Forever clothes, especially darker ones, will stain vinyl. But I thought three days was short enough period of time not to leave any stains. And I was wrong. Do not repeat my mistake. The second outfit I'm about to unbox is inspired by Toy Story and it features one of those adorable aliens. This outfit will also fit 18 inch dolls, it will fit American Girl dolls. Just be aware of the fact that some parts of this outfit might stain your doll's vinyl. And I'm talking about the red sleeves in particular. Just make sure pre-soak it in warm water with color catcher before you put it on a doll, or if, you, if you're not planning to do that, don't keep it on your doll for uh, longer than a day, I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm just really still traumatized with uh, my aerial experience, but I am gonna fix that stain. And now I'm gonna open another outfit. This is the second outfit that was released in this wave. This one is inspired by Toy Story and it features the adorable little alien. You might remember it from the movie. Let me know in the comments if you like Toy Story, by the way. I know some people don't like it and some people love it. And I've always been kind of neutral. I've seen all of them when my kids were younger, but I'm not the biggest fan. However, I do love those cute aliens and the sound, the cute sound that they make. Aww! Yeah, I can't do that. I can't, I can't say it the way they say it. So it's the same drill. I'm gonna try to cut off the plastic things as carefully as I possibly can so I wouldn't damage the fabric. I wouldn't cut any parts that are not supposed to be cut. I don't worry about the shoes and the bag because they are plastic, so um, it's really hard to damage them. But I do worry about the shirt and, and the shorts, maybe the socks too. So let's get the bag out first because, in my opinion, this is the cutest part of this outfit. Look at this. It opens too. You can put something in there. So adorable. It even has a plastic zipper on the side. Can you see that? It's kind of molded into the bag, but it's still cute. And the front side is just so, so adorable. I, I can't. I just can't. So the black part, the handle, is made to look like a chain. And it is very flexible and it's long enough to go on a doll's shoulder. Now I'm gonna try to get the socks out. And I can see that the fabric they used for socks is very delicate and easy to damage. And um, I'm gonna be as careful as I possibly can. Yeah, the fabric does feel very plasticky, very, you know, artificial. And like it's gonna snag so easily. So be extra careful with that. So the fabric is very thin 
And I think one of the reasons for that is because they're not really shaped like real socks. You see, this is not what human socks look like, right? Uh, because this brand is so cheap, it's made to be inexpensive. So that's one of the reasons why it's shaped the way it's shaped. It is stretchy on the top. Let me show you how the top part is finished. It's, it is finished, definitely. And it is stretchy. Now let's take a look at the shoes. And these shoes, by the way, uh, were a pain in the neck to put on my American Girl dolls. They're a little tight for their feet. The design on the side is really cute. So it's Pizza Planet. Look how cute, right? Um, you see that part? You can cut right there if you want to. Just make one vertical cut. And it will make putting those shoes on a doll much easier. I didn't really have any issues with putting the shoes on Illy Forever dolls because their feet are more slender than American Girl doll feet. But with American Girl dolls, it was kind of hard. Now let me show you the shorts. And they might be my second favorite part of this outfit after the bag. I know some people like the top better, but I do love the shorts. I believe this style of shorts is called paper bag when the waist on top is kind of um, ruffled. So this is what they look like. Obviously, this is not real denim. This is some sort of thinner, much thinner fabric. But look, the cuffs are real on the bottom, right? You see the actual cuffs. The waist part doesn't have any stretch at all, so you will have to use Velcro. The belt detail goes all around, so I'm really happy about that. And look, there's some decorative stitching to make it look like pockets in like the front part here where the zipper goes. They are very, very cute. Like the style is so adorable. I definitely love the look. Now, as I'm trying to get the shirt out of the packaging, I can already feel that the fabric quality is really, really bad. <laughs> it's very thin. And I don't know why they can't use better quality fabric like cotton jersey because it's pretty cheap. This shirt is on the short side. It's not exactly a crop top, but it's it's shorter than an average size for 18 inch dolls. The material is very stretchy, so you'll have no problem putting it on your doll, but it's very thin. Look how thin it is. Very thin, very, you know, delicate. I'm going to cut this tag off as well so now let's see what my illy forever doll looks like in it and i think this looks so great on her i love it actually this might be my favorite outfit from illy forever that i purchased on this release i was fully expecting for it to be the ariel's outfit but i think it's this one it just comes together so well i i don't know look at this look at that design on one of the uh, legs so so cool it just comes together so nicely and of course i had to put it on my tiana to see how she looks in it and she looks even better i just love it anyway let me know in the comments if you bought any of these outfits or planning to purchase them and don't forget to pre-wash them that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all American Girl related content but not yet subscribed to our channel, you should definitely do so. And if you turn on the notification bell, YouTube will always let you know when we upload a new video. We post all the latest American Girl news, crafts, and unboxing. We post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post in other days as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.